when you're not in town with the Reds? Does it seem like the long five years since you've been at Rice, or has the team, or has, this, uh, has the time flown by? It's been uh, it's been kind of a wash. Everything just kind of blends together now. You know, playing eight months out of the year playing baseball, but and it's definitely a crazy thing. It's been five years since uh, I was at Rice. Now your fans follow the stats of all the Rice major leaguers, but we want to get caught up with all things Tony. Bring us up to date on the new Lennox lefty. Uh, what have I been doing? Studying Spanish. Uh, just trying to get good at that. Other than that, just. Uh, Going out every day trying to play. Earlier in your uh, Reds career, you were a starting major league pitcher. Now you're closing the games. How has the change in roles worked out for you? Uh, seems to be pretty good because I'm doing well. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much the same as uh, what I was at Rice. You know, struggled a little bit my junior year as a starter, and then uh, you know Grant made the call for me to be a uh, closer, so it all worked out. Tell the folks uh, where you were and what building when you were in when you signed that very first Reds contract. I was sitting in the, I guess it would be the lounge of, uh, of the, yeah, the ballpark, but just right in the front office with uh, Graham was there and pretty fun. Uh, come into the office, we got to talk. Uh, so that was pretty emotional, you know, cried a little bit because it's your, uh, your dreams coming true. So um, yeah, I got the call up uh, at the end of 2012 uh, minor league season and then it was kind of surreal just going up there and I was in the pen when I got called up and it was it was fun. Uh, a couple of your former uh, Rice teammates, Anthony and Tyler, and now JT, uh, have all made it to the major leagues. Is it tough to put uh, the seriousness and business side of the job aside for a short time and visit with uh, you know some of those guys when uh, your paths cross in the majors? I uh, saw Rendon this year. I didn't say anything really to him. He was kind of busy and I was you know running around. But uh, I'll see him again when we go to the Nationals Park. And I mean he's doing well. I gave a hit to him two years ago, I think. But you know. Did you throw him? Run. Oh, fastballs, of course. What are your re recollections of one, playing for the program, and then two, playing specifically for Coach Graham? Uh, you don't want to mess up, that's for sure. Uh, otherwise, Graham will get on you. But, you know, everything was run professionally and really well, and uh, had a great time with all those guys back in uh, at Rice. And it's glad to, I'm glad to see, you know, a lot of them doing well, Tyler and Rennie and a lot of the other guys in the minors trying to get their way up there. What's your favorite Coach Graham story? And keep it PG uh, language, of course. Well, the only one that really involved me was I was pitching against Stanford. I think my first start, and they called the uh, pick play at second, and uh, I threw the ball home, and the stadium was slightly quiet, and all I hear is, did he just throw the ball home? And I was like, on the mound, like, oh boy, here we go. So when I got back in the dugout, he you know, let me have it, but it was, it was good.